In this video, we are going to have a look at probability distribution and the key formulas and concepts you need to know to, to solve some common IB maths exam questions. So I have a question here and we're going to dissect this question and really understand what all of these words and symbols mean. So a discrete random variable X has the following probability distribution. And we have a table here where we have X and there's probability that X equals X. So uh, this can be a little bit intimidating to some students. They might think, well, what is, what is this X and what is this X and how do they relate to each other? Well, we need to understand what a random variable is. So a random variable is in this question, uh, an example of what it could be is uh, we had an exam and we had a class of students that scored either 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4 in their exam. It was four questions and, and you would get a, a point if you got each of the questions correct. Now a random variable will just be the number of questions uh, a randomly selected student uh, will get correct in the, in the exam. And what the lowercase x here stands for is the possible scenarios. So it's kind of like the sample space if we, if we think about well, what can we get in this, in this experiment, in this exam. Well, we can either get 0 out of 4, so we didn't study for the exam and we got no questions correct, or we could get 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, and 4 would be full marks, you can't get any more. Now this is a discrete random variable because this is discrete data. Every student or every, every person that could be our random variable is either going to get a score of zero or one or two or three or four. So discrete means you need to be in a, in a bucket here of, 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 a, of a possible outcome. Continuous random variables are things like time and, and heights where where there isn't going to be set, um, set sample space, there could be an infinite amount of sample space. Okay, so this top line is just going to be all of our possible outcomes, and the bottom line says, well, the probability that our random variable, which is this capital X, which could be, which could be some random, randomly selected student, the probability that they get a certain score will change. Because looking at this example here, the probability that a student get a randomly selected student gets a zero is 0 0.1, and that's different to the probability of getting four. So that's why they have to write the probability that a random variable equals, and this x refers to any of these numbers in the top uh, row here. So hopefully now you you're not as uh, intimidated when you see this x and when our variable equals x. This is just saying that we have a probability for each of the outcomes on our top row here. And this is why it's called a probability distribution because we're distributing the probabilities across different outcomes. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, the key things to know for this topic is the sum, the sum of the probabilities so if we were to sum up each of these probabilities, this needs to be equal to 1. So that's a very important concept. Uh, a lot of IB questions, they'll give you a table like this and they might not give you one of the probabilities. It might be a K or some other letter and they'll say, oh, what's K? And you might think, oh, I don't know what the K is, but you do know the probability that all of these, they need to they need to add up to one. So then you can work backwards to find out what that value of K is. So this is a key formula that you need to know. And the second one is the expected value of our random variable. And I have put the formula that they give you in the formula booklet up here. And what that pretty much says is, okay, I've seen that some students get zero, maybe 10%, so probability of 0 0.1. Uh, some students get one. Well, it looks like more students are getting three or four in this uh, in this exam, which might be a little bit easier than a than a normal exam. So, what's if I were to select a random student? What are they expected to get? And it's not going to just simply be the middle number two because these probabilities clearly show that more students are going well. So I would before I actually calculate this, I would assume that our expected value will be greater than two, it'll be maybe somewhere between two and three. And the expected value is often referred to as the mean, which is the same as the average. And I like to think the, of the expected value in a probability distribution is actually a weighted average, because it's not just an average of the possible outcomes, 
be, uh, that would just be two. It's a it's an average of the outcomes given that uh, they they've been distributed. It's not as simple as they're all the same. Uh, the the top marks here had a had a more likely chance. Okay, so the formula to work out the expected value, which is e and then x, the expected value of our variable, is we just take the score, which will be zero, and we multiply it by its corresponding probability, so 0 0.1. And then we add, and we do it for all of them. It would be 1 times 0 0.1 plus 2 times 0 0.2, and then plus 3 times 0 0.3, and then we'll plus four times 0 0.3. And if we add all of this up, our expected value will be, this will be zero plus one times that will be 0 0.1 plus two lots of 0 0.2 will be 0 0.4 and then 0 0.9 and then 1.2. So our expected value for our random variable, 1.2 plus 0 0.9 will be 2.1 and then 2.5 and 2.6. So it's important to realize that this expected value, this isn't actually a probability. It's the expected score that we'll get. So this value here, this will be somewhere between our known possible outcomes and it will vary to the right or to the left depending on these probabilities. So a typical IB exam question uh, they'll give you a table and you'll need to work out potentially one of these probabilities that uh, hasn't been given and then they will ask you to find the either the expected value or they'll say the mean or the weighted average and that all means the same thing. It's just this formula here and the formula that they do show you in the booklet is just the sum, so it means we're going to sum up a score multiplied by its corresponding probability. So even though this formula does look a little bit scary, it's just what we did here. We, we summed up all of the scores multiplied by their probability. Okay, so hopefully this uh, explains what probability distribution is. I encourage you to practice a few of these questions and then get a feel for what these, these questions look like. Okay, good luck.